Hello, mine friends. I'm visiting my birth family right now, and I'm thinking about the topic of time and how people have so little of it, or really none of it, and people being so frustrated, feeling like you ever feel like you're on this perpetual hamster wheel and you can never get ahead, you can never create the kind of free time that you want to be able to do what you really want to do because your time is attached to a paycheck. And if you stop working, then you stop getting paid and you lose the ability to fund your nourishment for your family. And then the lights get shut off and you could be homeless because you have to constantly keep selling your time for money and therefore you have no free time. Well, I've got an ultimate solution for you Then it's only going to be attractive to people that really have freedom of the mind. And I'm always thinking about how can I help people who've made that decision to have freedom of the mind because all other freedoms follow that. And people that don't have freedom of the mind, they shoot stuff down that could save their lives. Like before they even hear about it, it's crazy. But here's the solution. And I've lived this, so I know. I used to have no time. And now I get all the time that I want. It's incredible. And I get to do things like spend time with my birth family, fly out to Colorado, fly out to Las Vegas, which I love very much and doing things out there and creating videos like this. I love being a teacher and a trainer. I love spending my time on that even if it pays absolutely nothing because I've got my time. So here it is. This is what I'm talking about. If you don't have time or you don't have the time that you want or any time at all, then you are in severe need of doing things, activities in a leveraged manner that creates residual income. That's it right there. You are in severe need of doing activities, daily activities, in a leveraged way that creates leverage and residual income. So, even if you don't know what that means, you can at least be on the search because you've decided you're going to have freedom of the mind. That happens in an instant. And once you have it, you can go down that bunny trail of figuring that out. So here's what I mean by that. Residual income, for example, is something that builds on top of itself. It's leveraged by well, there's infinite possibilities. I figured out some that's worked really well for me. But doing activities that is leveraged, it's like you make an upfront investment of your time, even if it's just a few minutes a day, but you learn how to do that extraordinarily well, even if it's just a few minutes of your time invested every day in certain activities, then that means eventually at some point, could be months, could be years, who knows, at some point, that pays off in a leveraged way to where your time suddenly opens up and options open up and you've got this residual and even a passive income that exceeds all of your expenses, exceeds whatever your job is paying you in multiplication tables. And then now it doesn't matter if you roll out of bed, roll over in bed, go on a vacation, spend time with your family, fly to Colorado to visit people you love and care about, Go to, you know, whatever. It doesn't even matter what it is. You got a philanthropist heart. Maybe you want to teach something. You can do it whether it pays or pays nothing at all because the options open up. And it starts with just a few minutes a day or a few hours, whatever you've got, that you can spend your time in a leveraged way. And if you're really saying you don't have time to do that, then you are indeed going to stay on that perpetual hamster wheel that you can never get off of because you still don't have freedom of the mind. If you're asking yourself, okay, how can I come up with at least a few minutes a day to spend and learn about how I can spend my time in a leveraged way that creates residual income, which is the complete opposite of your job income, just so you know. Start asking yourself those questions so that your mind is focused on coming up with solutions. Because if you don't start asking those questions, then your focus is going to be on whatever is wrong with your life, maybe not having enough time and why that's important to you. You're going to stay focused there and you won't even look beyond what the eyes can see. And if you won't look beyond what the eyes can see, then you screw yourself before anybody ever could. So I recommend you make that decision. You're going to have freedom of the mind. So you can start asking questions that opens up your brain into a rich and creative mindset which exits your brain from a lazy excuse-making mindset. Because when you're lazy, you're making excuses so you no longer have to think and you're just making statements, not looking beyond what the eyes can see. And that's that kills your spirit. And it also negatively impacts other people around you. So now you're just a selfish asshole. Don't be a selfish asshole. 
open your brain into a rich and creative process by asking yourself really great questions that puts you in that rich and creative process. I've just given you some really incredible nuggets in this video about jumping into some activities, maybe figuring out what they are that creates leverage and that creates residual income because residual income is leverage. Job money is not leverage. Job money just means you're a slave. And the more money you make at a job, the bigger slave you are. Not to put down jobs, but if you have a job only out of a neediness to be able to pay your bills, keep the lights on at home, if you're needy for a paycheck from your job, then whoever sold you on that idea, break away from it and get some better ideas because that's the single most destructive idea and activity that is in anybody's brain and daily lives. The idea that working for a paycheck is a good idea. It's the most destructive idea and it creates more poverty than anything else, more than any government policy or fiscal or whatever. It's that idea that having a job for a paycheck is a good idea is the most destructive, most pro-poverty, poverty-inducing idea that exists on planet Earth. So if we get rid of that old school of thought, that obsolete idea that has really expired, it was a good idea maybe 40 or 50 years ago, but it's not anymore. Times have changed big time. Money has completely changed and we're still operating under ideas that made sense 50 years ago. But if you follow those ideas that worked 50 years ago, they will make you poor and impoverished. So I hope this video helps to open up your mind. I don't make it to insult or offend anybody. I make it to help the willing who have the freedom of the mind that are looking for some better ways and some ideas and some answers. And of course, I teach this whole concept of leverage. I teach residual income. I teach passive income. I teach everything that job money is not so that you can be free of your time and completely detach your time from money. The truly rich people of the world measures their wealth by their time, not their money. You don't have any time or you don't have enough time, I highly recommend that you start learning about leverage and activities that create leverage, that create residual income because you are in severe need of it. And you go down that bunny, that bunny trail of figuring it out, ask those questions. And if you want to see what I'm teaching, it could be a big, big shortcut for you. I found that shortcuts do exist. It's mainstream school of crap thinking that tells you there are no shortcuts. In some sense, that's true. But there is a huge shortcut to be had in leveraging the intellectual acuity of other people who've been there, done that, figured it out. I'm constantly learning from other people that figured things out that I haven't. People who are much smarter than I am in niches that I want to become better in. And if you think you can figure something out all on your own, then if you do have all the time in the world, that might work out. But I think the idea of this video is that you don't have all the time in the world. So that might not be a good idea. Leverage intellectual acuity. I've been there, done that. I only had about 20 minutes a day when I had no time. I had about 20 minutes a day. And I really had to struggle to create that time to get that. But it was enough to get the ball rolling. 20 minutes a day of leveraged activity that started generating residual income that is also eventually passive so that I've got my freedom of my time because that's what the truly rich measures their wealth by is their time, not their money. But there is a relationship between time and money and not all money is created equal. Residual passive money is leveraged money. It's freedom. It's the opposite of job money. It's the opposite of being on that perpetual hamster wheel that makes you feel like you can't ever get ahead. And how secure would you feel and the safety of your family if you know that you've got this new income coming and this new form of leverage that is going to be there for you to cover you and your family regardless of how you spend your time because at a job you could be fired anytime for any reason there could be a merger and acquisition which happens a lot nowadays corporate conglomerates they no longer need you for whatever reason or offshore your job to China or actually what we're seeing now is jobs are coming back to America, but they're being replaced by computers. You could lose your job to a computer. That's the way it's going right now. But passive residual money, you're the one creating leverage. And you're the one that's in control. And you can do it. You can do it more quickly if you learn from somebody who's been there, done that. 
If you want to see how I did it, what I teach, how I teach it, then connect with me privately. I'll share a video with you. And if you like it, we'll do it. And if you don't like it, keep searching for something that is for you as long as it's passive and residual and it's leveraged. Because that's how you create more time. It's the only way. Time is leveraged. It's the only way to get more free time is to create leverage. I will hear from quite a few of you real soon. That's why I love making these videos. It's a mystery of who's going to see it that needed to see this, that really wants this information and wants to run with it and like lock arms and go. I love that. I live for it. So I'll hear from quite a few of you real soon. Have a great day. I will make another video real soon. I promise. Bye for now.